sins have reached a climax. I'm going to be speaking in regard to the great harlot of Babylon. And in no way am I speaking about one person in particular, but this is an amalgamation. This is several representations of the great harlot of Babylon that is displayed throughout mainstream media, throughout music in particular. And it is time for people to turn away from the wickedness, the perversion, and really check what's going on inside of them that they think that just because there may be a lack of representation to be so thirsty, so dehydrated, that you will take anything to satiate that need to see representation at your own detriment. So I took some notes because yeah, I was a little back and forth with sharing this, but Holy Spirit is really pressing on my heart to share how this is the level of sins have reached this climax to the point where destruction is imminent. Okay, let's go to Leviticus 19.29. Do not profane your daughter by making her a prostitute, lest the land be filled with prostitution and the land become filled with depravity. Proverbs 7 and 12. Now what now in the street, now in the market, and at every corner she lays in wait. Alright, just with those two scriptures. So we're just wanting you to know that right now it's time to separate yourself from those mindsets. Um being entertained by things that you know are of no heavenly good. And that is leading you further and further away, not only from God, but away from who you truly are, giving you some false sense of enjoyment, and it's really depravity. In scripture, it speaks about she promotes improper relationships between men and women. And the scripture also prophesies that the very things that the harlot of Babylon, the whore of Babylon, has been used to be the favorite pet. The beast system is going to also devour her. And so you can't shoot the messenger. I'm protected. But if you have not paid attention and you may be so desensitized, you have to understand that this is self-destructive. This is self-annihilation to partake in this dysfunction.